So in this segment, we're going to meet Dan and Mary Neal. Um, and Denise House was their designer. Right. And Denise designed a wine uh, and bourbon storage cabinet mm -hmm. behind an existing piece of furniture that they bought. So it was important right. that it match, mm -hmm. um, which you know Denise is great at. She is. Yeah, she designed a two-tone unit. Mm -hmm. And it has wine storage. It has glass doors at the top. There's lighting. It's just a beautiful unit. And Juan, um, Juan just did a fantastic job on As that. always. Yeah. <laughs> So it turned out really nice, and I think the clients were extremely happy. And I think you'll enjoy this episode. My name is Mary Neal and we're here in Norfolk, Virginia and we are working with a closet factory to have a bar back design to go behind our bar for our den. When we purchased this house a few years ago, there was an existing cabinet behind on one of the walls where it had just two sliding glass doors and it was not very deep and it was not in the best condition. I believe it probably was original with the house when it was built in 1957. So it really needed an upgrade and we thought and we couldn't decide what we wanted to do. And then one day I was watching TV and there was a closet factory commercial and I thought, well, they do closets. I'm sure they don't do anything like this. And then I was speaking with some neighbors and they said, well, you know, we have a neighbor, Denise, who works for closet factory. You should call her and see. And that got the wheels turning, so I went on the website and I actually found where they do more than just closets. They do all kinds of different projects. And so we made the call and um, Denise called back. We didn't even know it was going to be her. And she called back and we're like, ah, oh, you're our neighbor. This is going to be great. <laughs> My husband and I had some ideas that we wanted. We, um, we both like wine, so we wanted to have a built-in wine rack. and. Uh, we, my husband likes bourbons, and so we wanted to have a place where we could display some of his uh, top shelf bourbons that he has. So we had a, a few ideas that we wanted, but we also wanted Denise to give us some ideas as well. And so she drew some sketches, and we talked about what the functionality we wanted it to have. And she took all the ideas back to her office, and then she came back with like a CAD drawing. And so I think what Denise has designed and come up with is going to certainly meet everything that we hope to have. Hello, everybody. We're here today working on a bar unit here. And uh, as you can see, it's already, already been laid out for us, basically. Um, the owner had something else here, had some built-in shelves. but. They really want to incorporate something now here that's very, very built-in looking, like maybe it's been here the whole time. And uh, so the interesting thing about this one is, is that we already had to make our cabinets to cut into the existing uh, spaces here. So rather than doing a bunch of stud work and, and all sorts of work that, that requires that part of work, we're just going to basically fill all this in and make it look like a cabinet that's always been here. Uh, we got some lights that are going to be tying in at the very top. There's an outlet up there. And uh, I mean, once we get it trimmed out and decked out, it's going to be really close to matching their, their bar con concept here. So it's going to be really, really cool. What makes this job unusual is the fact that we're already that we're building into an existing structure so tying it all in is is where the magic's really going to happen you know making it look like it's a custom piece just made for this well, i got the structure up and i got all the lighting installed and the light switch that's going to operate the lighting now this is a dimmer switch system that we offer, which is really, really popular because a lot of times, if you can see right here, 
This is the only little switch that operates these lights. And so it's a touch on and off. And then at the same time, if you depress it, they'll dim. And then they'll come right back up to the brightness that you want. So now that I got all that here and uh, installed and it's leveled out, it's pretty much anchored. Now all I got to do is do the trim work. I'm going to case it in real nice. And then I'm going to add the doors and the uh, glass shelves. And uh, we're looking pretty good. Hey, what's up, Denise? I'm just coming by to check on what's happening here. Look at it, it's almost done. It is, it looks fantastic. Does it look exactly like you thought it would look? It does, okay. it does, and better. Better, that's actually. right. Actually, yeah, the lighting looks great. We've got the strip lighting there, and the puck yep. lights, so it'll look great when the doors are on with the glass and the glass shelves. Yep. It's just a perfect match with their existing bar, too. The color is perfect, and yeah. And then they. I can't wait the, to start using it. The grand. I uh, know. I know. It's maybe great. they'll invite you need us to enjoy over. It, no doubt. Yeah. Maybe they'll invite us over to to uh, experience <laughs> the the bar <laughs> for sure. So I'll come back in a little bit when uh, you get closer to done. Okay. Just give me a text or something, and I'll come back by. Sounds good. Okay. All right. All right. done with the structure um, as it is. Um, got all the trim up. As you can see, I did the, it's got a real nice built-in look now. Uh, like it's always been here, which is what we want. Um, the real cool thing about this job in particular is that um, I was able to come out and remeasure the space uh, with Denise, which a lot of times that's real important, especially in a real custom unit like this. You really want to get the details down. And a lot of times our designers are so good at asking the clients about what they want specifically that a lot of times it's good for us to be on hand to explain to them how exactly that's going to work out and how that's going to fit. Um, but I think she did a great job uh, transferring all the numbers. Um, like I said, coming out really helped out. Uh, as you can see, none of the wiring is uh, shown. Everything is behind. And the trim work came out really, really good. Um, now all I got to do is just put on the doors and add the shelves and uh, we got glass shelves going in each of these so I can't wait to pop that on and get it done. We're all finished with the bar unit here. The lighting and the glass shelves really came out awesome. Denise did a real good job. I can't wait till she sees it so I'm going to go get her. And I'm gonna pick up the last of my tools right here, and then until the next one. We'd like to talk about Denise and a project we did for her and her house. Denise actually, House. Yeah, in her house, Denise House. Yep. Two projects, mm -hmm. actually. Yes. Quite a long time apart. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. A library, a built-in library. Mm -hmm. That was the first project. Floor-to-ceiling library, yes. And then her, the second was an alcove. Her husband is a, a professor, and he has a enormous collection of books. And they converted basically a dining room to become their library wall-to-wall, -wall, floor to ceiling. Right, it yeah. turned out beautiful. Yeah, so one of the unique features about this design was that there was a desk that Rob wanted to incorporate in the design. It was his father's and it was important to him. And Denise really wanted to make it look like it was part of the design, which meant that we wanted to match the finish. Right. And, you know, it's, it's one of those things that, you know, we've got so many options that we were able to. We got so close, I think that it's hard to tell that it didn't all... Right, it looks like it's all together. Right, right. Uh, and then the next installation we did for her was that uh, the desk. Um, do you remember that? 
She was really adamant about the look of it and the feel of it. Denise is so talented. Um, and creative. And creative that her end product is just amazing. She's, she's really, really good at this job. Um, so I think she was her own client and that was maybe a little bit more challenging for her. Yeah, it was interesting. Um, and she spent a lot of time designing and picking out finishes. And, she always does. And so, yeah, both projects, I think, turned out extremely well, and she's extremely happy with them. Yay. So we hope you enjoy it. Hi, I'm Denise House, a senior design consultant with Closet Factory, and I'm here today in my own home just showing you what I've designed for myself and my, my husband. As a designer, it's always a little bit more difficult to design for yourself. I don't know why, but it just is. So one evening, my husband and I were sitting out in our sunroom and having a glass of wine, and we walked in this space, it was completely empty, and I said to him, I said, honey, I said, what we need to do in here is a floor to ceiling bookshelves all the way around. And of course, my husband is a college professor and a self-professed bibliophile, so he was so excited when I said that. So, of course, as a senior designer and knowing what Closet Factory can do, I said, okay, I know who's going to do it, Closet Factory. And so, that's what we did. I sat down and put it on my computer, and then we also, a few years later, I designed this bureau that's back here. We originally had some bookshelves on each end, as well as some bookshelves in the middle, and I said, you know enough with the bookshelves. We need to have something that is nice and, and closed off and it also gave us a nice space for uh, some art. So let me show you some of the details of our library. First of all, one thing that Closet Factory has that's so great is the ability to have adjustability. And so, of course, with this extensive book collection, you're going to have all sizes of books. So, for example, you can see here the difference between the heights there because he has some, some taller books here. Also, when I was designing it, I tried to do, to do it uh, as uh, sort of semi-symmetrical as I could. And again, I can't span more than 30 or 28 inches in between each one of these partitions just for the stability of these shelves. If, if it spans any further than that, books are extremely heavy and they will begin to bow. So we've been, you know, paid very close attention to make sure that we didn't do that. Again, we have some, uh, when, we, when we do crown to the ceiling, we have to put a piece of flat trim first and then the crown. That way it levels because ceilings and walls are never perfectly square and so we have to do that. And then we elected to do just a flat trim along the bottom there. And we did it a little bit taller just because the material comes in certain heights and that, that made it uh, the math work out perfectly. And so when you come over here, you can see we had to bridge a shelf across here. I believe it may be a little bit wider than 36, but we were allowed to use the frame itself to act as a cleat to hold that, that shelf up and, uh, uh, nice and nice and straight. And then when you come over here, we have uh, radiant heat. So that, again, that's another thing that's great about Closet Factory. We can build around anything that we need to. Uh, and in this case, it's my uh, radiator covers. Uh, I love radiant heat, by the way. It's, it's so nice and cozy. But we are able to get around those uh, and uh, you know continue with our bookshelves. And so when you look at this whole back wall, I went around my sunroom entry and then just did those uh, perfectly evenly on both sides. And of course we have to subdivide that a little bit here for stability as well. Coming over here, you'll see the other radiator and uh, see how this is all kind of perfectly balanced. We have the same uh, width, so I uh, chose to uh, do a narrow one to get around that. But, uh, you know, it works, it, it makes it interesting. And then you come around here, and this is where we have the desk that uh, was my husband's parents. They had a home up in Oregon, and so this was one of their pieces there. And we just loved it. We thought it was so interesting. And uh, again, we came as close as we could color-wise uh, with, 
the, the color selection for the library so that it just became part of it. And then this is the, the, uh, the glass shelves, as you can see, or, or the glass doors that my husband has his uh, very special books in here, lots of uh, books that are signed and his own personal. He was uh, published in the Paris Review, so he has his own publication up there as well, which he's very proud of. And of course, we have all kinds of fun little art things. And the, also, this area right here is a little deeper. I just did that for a little bit of dimension to give it a little bit of interest. And as you can see, our guys are so good at, at uh, doing the, the trim work when they have to do uh, different depths. So we did that as well. That pretty much wraps it up here in the library. So let's step into the other space and take a look at the bureau that I designed. So here is the bureau that uh, I designed with Closet Factory and uh, Mike installed for us. We used the same color again as what's in the um, library and then decided to use uh, a two-tone doing the white faces. I did some sliding doors here and these are my uh, little mid-century modern legs here. Since the desk kind of covers up this space, I just went ahead and put it to the floor. I didn't uh, elevate it at all. Um, again, I found these uh, knobs on, online, these uh, pulls. They have to be recessed because they're the sliding. And then these uh, fun little pulls I found as well. What I did here is my CDs then fit perfectly. I can get six rows across and now I can actually read them because before when they were in um, just on bookshelves they were kind of hard to see. This way I can see them just perfectly and so I have them all in categories so I can find what I'm looking for. So I, I did this kind of perfectly balanced so this side has the same thing as that side with the sliding doors and you see they slide really really nicely. Just open and close here. I did have electricity on, on both sides so I have a, a grommet right here so I can put lamps or, or whatever I need to do. Uh, which I'm going to do to light up this space once I get my art hung on the wall, which I haven't done quite yet. We're still waiting on some other pieces that are being framed. So that's it. That's my bureau, and I just love it. I think it's perfect for the space and uh, couldn't be happier. So designing for yourself is always a lot trickier than it is for someone else. You all, I, I don't know why, it just is. So my husband trusted me on what I needed to do and as far as installation goes, of course, you know, Closet Factory, we have the, the best installers in town. We just do. And so Juan and Mike did a beautiful job. They worked on it together. It took them, I believe, just a day. Maybe they came back a second day uh, to do some of the trim work, but they, uh, you know, they just worked so beautifully together and just did it. It's just perfect. Okay, that pretty much wraps it up. My bureau and my library are uh, two of my favorite things in my house, and I just couldn't be happier. Thanks for coming and taking a look. It's always a little bit difficult to design for yourself, but I couldn't be happier with the outcome. So Mary, come here, I want you to see your final bar, your final, oh, it looks fabulous. I love it. Isn't it great? It is great. And the yeah. colors of everything matches and coordinates with the bar that we have. Come on up here and I'll show you some, uh, a little bit about it. Of course, in here, mm -hmm. you've got some extra deep storage in yes. there. Because remember how that alcove was yes. so deep? And so, and of course, these are adjustable. So if you have something of a different height, you mm -hmm. can move those around. It's very easy. You just pop them up like this, mm -hmm. kind of tilt them, use the little pins, move them up and down. Okay. Okay. And then, of course, you have this glass right here, which is going to be so great with all your glassware right. and the light. 
you know, filtering through there, it'll really highlight yes. all your pieces. I'm glad we did glass shelves uh -huh. and not solid shelves. Oh there. yeah, definitely, especially with the with the light. Mm -hmm. And then of course we have this strip light under here, mm -hmm. which will be nice too. Kind of lights up the whole area, right? A little bit there too, and a perfect spot for uh, Dan's bourbons. He wanted yes. to. Kind of showcase those. Yeah, we've been collecting here. some different ones, so we're oh, ready good. to put them in there. Good, so you can display them. Mm -hmm, yeah. Well, since we're neighbors, what's going to be great is I can just come around the corner and right. we can open up the bo a little bottle exactly. and uh, marvel at this beautiful piece. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. It's just perfect with your existing bar too, yeah. and the um, you know the hardware. We got very close with it and the color. So. I can't wait to get everything put back in there. I know, I bet. Because you remember the old display cabinet oh, yes. was original to the house from right. like 1957 right. and it was not right. very functional and this right. is going to be it was way better. kind of like a trophy display case, wasn't Ex it? Sort yeah. Of? Like very, it wasn't, it wasn't yeah. really like a bar. Not very deep. Um, yeah. 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 So Mary, why don't you go get a couple bottles of wine and see yeah. how they look? Yeah, that would be great. Let's definitely do that. You do an, so, do one yeah, and I'll we'll do put one. this one right here. See how nice, and you can have them, yes. I don't know if you like them kind of poking out, but you got plenty Perfect. of depth there that even if you have an extra tall bottle, Definitely. it'll probably work exactly. out pretty well. Yep. Can't wait to fill it up. <laughs> I know. I love it. I'm going to have to build one of these in my house. Mm -hmm. I have a perfect spot for it too. So, oh, I just think it's beautiful and Juan of course did, did a beautiful job and uh, I know you guys are yes. just going to love it. Yes, he did a great job. Very professional. He did a great job. Mary, I'm so glad you're so happy. Yes, so, definitely. Um, anyway, thank you so yes, much for thank you. choosing Closet Dad for me yeah, and, and trusting me us. with this project. Definitely. Okay, I'm looking so forward to more projects. More. Okay, let's go. All right, let's go. Today has been great, and it was just really kind of exciting to watch it being created from a blank wall to what we have now. Since we've had the install, I can see uh, lots of ways that we can use this. And obviously when we entertain, we'll be able to have more space for ice bucket and mixers and things on the back bar. Also right now, our wine rack is in our dining room, which is on the upper level of the house. So now we, with the built-in wine rack, we can have all the bottles of wine right down here where it'll be much more convenient to take care of our guests. I can't wait to get things put in there and get the derby glasses in there and get the bourbon bottles up because it's just going to look so fabulous once we get our personal things up there onto the bar. Juan did a real great job keeping everything organized. I mean, took up very little space in the room where he was working and I mean, even when he was pulling nails out of some existing things, he was very careful to pick them up right away, put them in a bucket so they didn't damage the floors. He cleaned everything up when he was finished. I mean, even got the cleaned the glass and the display cabinet parts and just really did a great job. And when he left, it's like he was never here. I would definitely want to work with Denise again if we decide to do another project. Um, and if we did that, I would probably want to do our master bedroom closets because they are, for the most part, original with the house as well. They still have the shoe, a little shoe rail on the bottom of the floor, which you'd never see anymore. But at some point, someone put in some of the wire grid shelving, which serves a purpose, but it's, n it's still not as functional as I think the closets up there could be. So eventually, I think we may have Denise come over and take a look and give us some ideas of what we can do there as well. If I had a neighbor that needed to have a project done for organization, I would definitely suggest Closet Factory and specifically Denise and I would just bring them in and show them pictures of what this looked like before and what it looks like now, and that would sell them on um, they have to call a closet factory. So we just finished here at, the, at Dan and Mary Neal's house. We did their back bar. It turned out perfectly. It's so beautiful, and they're so pleased. Juan did a perfect job as usual, and so I'm off to another closet factory install. See you later.